Are you a twin troller fisherman? Hi, I'm Frank Jones, designer of the world's best fishing boat, the Twin Troller. Let's get started in answering that very important question. So let's talk about some of those features that make the Twin Troller the world's best fishing boat. When I designed the Twin Troller, one of the main things about this boat is how maneuverable it is. It allows you to get into places and maneuver the boat like no other boat. Whether it's a kayak, John boat, tracker, big bass boat, it doesn't matter. Nothing can maneuver like the Twin Troller. So because we've got two engines, we talk about it all the time, they're placed really right here underneath me. This thing will do a 300 60 degree turn in its place. So I'm gonna demonstrate that real quick and then I'll show you how effective that is when fishing. So here I go. So what a great thing. You can literally spin and play. That doesn't have anything to do with fishing, but what does have to do with fishing is how you can keep and control this boat wherever you want to put it. So I'm gonna do a little bit of fishing in this area. You can see it's real tight in here. We're probably gonna go through that brush when it's all over, but I'm just gonna cast a few times. You'll see how I control the boat. So one of the great things about the boat is to be able to position your boat wherever you want along the shoreline and cast. And so my boat, you can imagine if there was wind down in this little place, it would be blowing you like crazy towards the end. But of course, I've got my hands free and I'm fishing and I've got full control of the boat. So if I had wind behind me, all I do is put some heel pressure and I don't know how well you can see this, but I'm backing up right towards you. So you can't do that with any other boat that I know of on the market. It allows me to turn this boat on a dime like that. Now I'm fishing this area over here. So the maneuverability of this boat is unsurpassed in any boat on the market and it allows you to do so many things when it comes to fishing. And that's what we're talking about. Are you a twin troller fisherman? Can you imagine doing this all the time? Or are you a John boat fisherman where you're fighting with the hand control? Are you a kayak fisherman and you're paddling all the time? Are you a tracker fisherman and the tail end of your boat's being blown around while you're trying to fish that end down there? Are you a bass, big bass boat fisherman? And that, if that's the case, you wouldn't even be in this electric only lake that we're in. So the maneuverability of this boat is absolutely unsurpassed. So, and that's, that's why I designed this boat the way it is. We considered all those limitations, those other watercraft, put it in this boat. So we're gonna go down. Most people wouldn't be able to go through that little opening right there. Because we've got twin troller, the twin troller's got these motors recessed, we can go through that tight little spot and get to another part of the waterway. So here we go. It's really tight back in here. There's a lot of branches in the water. So normally if you had a if you had an electric motor down underneath your boat, you couldn't do this, but we're gonna do this and ease in here. Do a little bit of that and ease around there. Go right through it. Now these motors are up inside the boat, so though I scrubbed across it, I didn't have to worry about it. Now I'm in another part of the lake. When I looked at the small boats that I was familiar with, one of the issues, and one of the major issues is stability of a small boat. And that really includes certainly John boats. And, and it's really one of the major concerns that I had with a John boat and using a John boat. But it's also a big deal when it comes to kayaks. You can read where all they're trying to do is talk about how stable it is and convince you that it's stable. Well, this boat, I don't have to convince you. I'm gonna show you. So, the twin troller is as stable as any boat. It's got these two motors that actually provides a suction to the water. And what it allows you to do, if I'm sitting here, even if I just want to just 
Imagine just standing up and stretching your legs because your legs are, are your back stiff. So I'm just going to do it. So if I was here and I was going, oh, my back. But what it really means is when you're out in a big body of water like this, and a lot of people are small, they're worried about because of the stability of small boats they're getting in larger bodies of water. But if you can do this, take a casting rod with a crankbait, you get all the leverage of standing up and all the distance. You can fish points, you can do all kinds of things in this boat that you just can't do in another small boat. You try to do this in a small John boat, you probably go swimming. If you try to stand up in a kayak, you're probably going to go swimming. In a twin trawler, you're probably going to catch a fish or two. So, you know, a lot of people, we show in a demo, me actually standing on the boat. This has absolutely no practicality, but it certainly can help you relate to how stable this boat is. So I'm standing here right now, I just cast. So I'm going to stand up. Of course, I'm going to hold on to my seat so nothing crazy happens. But you can see that I can just stand up on the side of this boat. Now, that's not anything you'd want to do, but that shows you how stable this boat is. So anyway, I'm going to do this kind of stuff again. Nobody's going to dance in their boat, but the great thing about a twin troller is the music breaks out, you can dance in your boat. So let's sit back down. Well, better yet, it's a great little point over here. I'm just going to cast one more time that way. See if we can pick up a fish over there. I don't know that we will, but I tell you what, I get a lot more leverage on a twin troller by being able to stand up and really whip this crankbait out there than you'd ever get in another small fishing boat. Well, not that time, but that's what we're talking about. That's where this comes into play. Big body of water. Most people wouldn't be on here. They'd be afraid of tipping over or whatever. You can see back behind me. Fish a lot more area when you can really stand up and get some leverage on these casts. Oh, and you can catch a fish. How about that, folks? We're going to try to keep him down. He might want to get up and dance. It's not a big one. Oh, look at there. I don't think I would have been able to get to this fish if I hadn't been able to throw it that far. Oh, and I just used my self-release method, another feature of the twin trolling. <laughs> Let's see if something else is out there. Safety is such a big issue in, in the water. A lot of people won't even go out of the water, and maybe shouldn't, when in a, in, especially in a kayak this time of year, because you, you are, there are some issues with cold water and the potential of getting in it. But I don't ever worry about that. All right, thrown a few times, caught a fish. Let's see what else we can do. So one of the really important items about fishing is lure presentation. You've got to get your bait where the fish are. And when you're limited in casting angles, you just can't get to some really important spots. So with a kayak or John boat, you're limited to kind of overhead casting. There's just no way to get, you can't get here because the water's there. So I thought about that when I was designing the twin troller is, I want to be able to throw underhand while I'm sitting and get underneath a, a branch in a tight hole, wherever I want to get, but, but I want to get it low and I want to get it right there where I want it, right in that little hole. Now, if I was trying to do that overhand, it'd be a whole different presentation and a lot harder. And when, when there's overhanging limbs, you just, you just can't do it. You can't do it in a kayak. You can't do it if your angles are up here. So the other great thing to really increase your casting angle, again, the stability of the boat, something I was really concerned about, but I was concerned about where I put my lure and how I could get it. Again, if you're really underneath something, just you can, you can stand up, bend down, you can do whatever you want to on this boat that you just cannot do in any other small boat. And it's really, it was by design that I put that in this boat. It was on a list of things that were not something you could do with a kayak or John boat. And I wanted a boat I could do that with.
You know, it's very important in small boats and is incredibly important to me because I'm 6'3", is my comfort. One of the keys to comfort in any place you're sitting is that your hips and your knees are at the same level. So as you see, my hips and my knees are at the same level, so I don't get that stiffness in my lower back and in my hips. Well, that's something that was a major problem for me and most anglers when they get in a John boat or they get in a kayak. They end up getting their hips below their knees and they have to lean forward to feel upright. That's what puts that pain in the back of your back. So all the time, and as I demonstrated before, if I get stiff out on the day on a lake, because I'll stay in this, I'll stand up and tell you what we did. Small boats with hard plastic seats are not anything I wanted to deal with. So we put the tempers padded foam seat on it. You're gonna stay on this boat a whole long time on a much longer time than you would any other boat. So we put a foam, nice cushion foam seat in it and we set you where you could be comfortable. So I'm gonna demonstrate a little bit different of what, what that means if you're in a kayak. If you're in a kayak, you have to sit way down low because of the stability of, of the kayak. You've gotta get your center of gravity. So I'm gonna give you a little bit of example with that. So uh, let me show you what it looks like if, if this had the same stability of a kayak, what I would have to do in order to maintain stability of my vessel. So, be right back. So this, will, this is how you would be sitting if a twin troller had the same stability as a kayak. Your center of gravity's gotta be low. You couldn't adjust the boat without a paddle in your hand. But your center of gravity is going to be, so imagine if a twin troller was like a kayak. You'd have to sit this low in a boat. And like I said before, if you're doing this all day, it gets old quick. Matter of fact, I just started doing it and my back's already stiff. So, um, but that's, that's the issue is that comfort is so important in small boats. And if you think you're a kayak fisherman, think of what that's going to impact you when you go out fishing. I'd submit maybe you're a comfort in a twin troller fisherman as opposed to a kayak fisherman when it comes to sitting down like this. I, 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 the, your whole perspective of the water in front of you completely changes when you're down this low in the water just to keep your boat stable. So, matter of fact, I, I'm not really having any fun right now. <laughs> And I just missed a fish. <laughs> Well, I'm done doing this. This is how hard it is to stand up if you were in a kayak. Of course, I'm much more stable, so I can do that. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, that's much, much better. One of the great things that I, I admit I'm a little bit selfish about of the twin troller is accessibility. Is there are tens of thousands of bodies of water in this country that I never had access to that I now have access to with a twin troller. Now, if you're a John boat guy, John boat fisherman, kayak fisherman, yeah, there's a lot of places you can go that, that, that I'm speaking about. But if you're in a big bass boat, you're in a tracker, you cannot get to places like this. Can you imagine being able to just drop your boat in and be out here with you and the fish. This is so much more enjoyable than the rat race of the, of the boat ramp. I, I did it for years and years and I just didn't enjoy it. This boat was launched from the backyard. It'll be taken out of the backyard. You just can't do it with large boats. So we're out here enjoying, this is a Bill Dance managed lake. Um, we've had a great day out here. Couldn't have done it with anything but electric power boat and a small boat that you could access the waterway with. You know, I'm sitting here enjoying it. I'm really taking it in, but I'm hoping that you can enjoy the same experiences that, that I am because this boat was designed, I will admit selfishly, I designed it for me and what, what really fishing is all about. So features like crazy, but this is fishing. This here is fishing. 
Thanks for watching the video.